here. Um, between 1956 and 1971, the FBI ran a counterintelligence program named COINTELPRO that was initiated by J. Edgar Hoover. COINTELPRO mainly targeted civil rights leaders such as Martin Luther King, and it's commonly understood that this was an abuse of its surveillance power in a manner to suppress a peaceful movement. So uh, I would like to ask Mr. Chair unanimous consent to enter this report into the record which is black identity extremists likely motivated to target law enforcement officers. I believe earlier you said you were not familiar with the report. Is that correct? Well, I haven't read it. I know um, some of the alleged uh, targeting of, of officers uh, by okay, so a I, I would group. like to know, and I'll ask you about that in a minute. So you um, are somewhat familiar with it. Who had the power in your department to order a report like this? I'm not sure how that report got ordered. I don't believe I explicitly uh, approved it or directed it. Okay, so uh, you're not, you haven't necessarily read the report, but you are familiar with the term black identity extremists? Well, I think so, yes. So could you tell me what that term means to you? Do you believe that there is a movement of African Americans that identify themselves as black identity extremists, and what does that movement do? Well, I'd, I'd be interesting to see the conclusions of that report. But I'm aware uh, that there are groups that uh, do have an extraordinary commitment to their um, racial identity, very commitment to their um, racial identity, very commitment to their um, racial identity. Are aware of white uh, organizations that do this as well? Given that white supremacy is well-documented, well-researched movements such as the neo-Nazis, the Ku Klux Klan, et cetera, are they white identity extremists? I didn't follow that question, please, again. Um, is there a term or a report on white identity extremists? You mentioned you were familiar with black people who identify with their racial identity. Yes, but it's not coming to me at this moment. <laughs> not coming to you? Uh, it's um, Certainly a group such as the Ku Klux Klan. Yes, the and then the skinhead movements, but there's a racial identity, white movements, uh, that have been identified for sure. So has the FBI done a report on white identity extremists that are likely motivated to target law enforcement officers? Um, Is there such I'm not a aware of that. Okay. Uh, are you aware of a group called the Sovereign Citizens? I've heard that group, yes. And I believe that the Sovereign Citizens is primarily a white organization that absolutely has targeted police officers and killed police officers. You're not aware of that? I'm not aware of all their crimes, but I know there are a group that's... Um, uh, known to have violent tendencies. Could you name an African-American organization that have committed violent acts against police officers? Could you name one today? In this report, they name organizations from 30, 40 years ago, but can you name of one today that has targeted uh, police officers in a violent manner? I believe I could, but I would want to be uh, to confirm uh, that and submit it to you in writing. But I believe we had within the last year or so, four police officers killed by a group that some have described as uh, extremists. So what has happened is, is that there have been a couple of incidents in which African Americans did kill police officers who were not associated with a black organization. So you should know that a lot of activists around the country are very concerned that we're getting ready to repeat a very uh, sad chapter of our history where people who are rightfully protesting what they consider to be an injustice in their community, which is their uh, relationship uh, with police officers, are now being targeted and labeled as extremists and are going through periods of surveillance and harassment. And so I would like to know, what is your department going to do to protect the rights of average citizens to protest if they have a concern about police officers. This department will not unlawfully target people. So if that's the case, then I would ask that you review this report, Black Identity, identity Extremists Likely Motivated to Target Law Enforcement Officers, because I personally don't believe that any such organizations exist. The organizations that are referred to in this report uh, are organizations from decades ago. And so I would like to know what will you do to essentially roll back what is listed in this report, because it's not accurate. Sir? I will, we will look at the report. I actually um, would be interested in reading it. 
But they usually do an excellent job, objective and fair, on those kind of reports. Okay, well, just... Time of the, time of the gentlewoman has expired. The uh, so there are no misunderstandings moving forward. Thank you for being here, sir. Thank you, Director Ray. Thank you for uh, being with us today. And I know you've been here for a very long time. Um, you know, we have spoken many times about black identity extremists, and I definitely want to ask you about that today. Um, I understand that the Bureau no longer uses BIE and instead categorizes these cases under the broader label of racially motivated violent extremism. But, um, but one, I wanted to know if you guys have really uh, repudiated the whole BIE category, because I, I know when we've talked about it in the past, it, it really wasn't, didn't seem to be that there was much evidence that there were black identity extremists. And I, the title was a little longer than that. Something about black identity extremists that threaten police or attack police. So tell me what's different. So uh, I found our conversations before to be, uh, you know, very constructive and very valuable. Uh, and we also engaged uh, not just with you and your colleagues, but also with Noble, uh, mm -hmm. with whom great. we have a great relationship yeah, and are great. working more closely than ever. Good. Uh, we have. Um, as you mentioned, changed our terminology we, as part of a, a broader reorganization of the way in which we categorize our domestic terrorism efforts. So we took a whole bunch of categories, not just the one that you mentioned, but a number of others, and consolidated it down to really four buckets. And the reason for that is what we What are the want, four buckets? What's that? What are the four buckets? Uh, there's racially motivated violent extremism. Uh -huh. Uh, which is, you know, any kind of violent extremism that's driven with a kind of racial intent of one sort or another, no matter which direction. There is um, uh, anarchism slash government extremism. I may not have the label right, but mm -hmm. that covers kind of variety of everything, sort of certain kinds of militia stuff all the way over to kind of more of the anarchist, uh, maybe sort of Antifa-like mm -hmm. uh, kind of methodology. There is... Um, uh, abortion violent extremism, people on either side of that issue who commit violence on behalf of, of different views on that topic. People on either side of that issue don't commit violence. Right? Well, I mean, we've, I, had, we've actually don't... had a variety of kinds of violence uh, on, under that, you believe it or not. But really, the, uh, at the end of the day, the, and, and then the last one has doctors? to do with, with animal rights and environmental uh, Those are the four? extremism. What's that? Those are the four. Those are the four. And the point is, the point is we wanted to underscore uh, what I told you earlier, but we wanted to make it even more clear that at the end of the day, for us, it's not about the ideology. It's about the violence. That's where we weigh in. It's not right. that the ideology isn't important for right. us as Americans, but we only investigate violence and the crimes that go with the violence. But so under the racially motivated, uh, uh, racially motivated violent extremism, how many African-American or black groups are considered under there? Well, uh, again, I want to be clear. Uh, we don't investigate groups per se. We, inv we have properly predicated investigations into individuals, and in some cases they may have co-conspirators, but in each of those instances, it's where we have three things. Credible evidence right. of, of a federal crime, credible, credible evidence, number two, of violence or threat or use of violence, and then number three, on behalf of some ideology. So if we have those things, only right. if we have those things will we open an investigation. So, um, so do, are white supremacist groups under racially motivated violent extremism? Or do white supremacists have a whole separate category? Well, again, I want to stay away from the use of the word groups. We certainly investigate uh, white supremacist motivated violent extremism in the same category that we're talking about. So, for example, we just, uh, just last month uh, arrested uh, eight members, I think, of a group known as The Base. Uh, and there were arrests that were made uh, not just oh, in yeah, my home waited. state of Georgia, but also getting in Getting ready to go to Virginia, yeah. correct? That was, the group that? That, that was the group that was on their way to Virginia? Uh, I, I think that's right. I can't remember that detail so, specifically. So there but. are organizations, and I understand that, you know, when you say you just investigate individuals, I mean, that, you just gave an example of a group. So I know that there are a lot of, of white, ex, uh, white supremacist groups. And so my question to you is about black groups. And so I don't know, maybe they're black individuals, but 
under the category of black identity extremism formally, there were organizations uh, such as the one in Texas and the individual in Texas that was arrested. He was incarcerated for a while and then after being incarcerated and going on trial, he was released. He had, um, he had activity on a website and he also had um, literature when he was arrested. Are you familiar with the case that I'm talking about? We've talked about it before. I, th I think so, yeah. So my question is, are there African-Americans or black groups or individuals that are currently a part of the racially motivated violent extremism category? Well, again, I, I don't know that I would speak in terms of investigating groups. We investigate individuals and in some instances, uh, individuals with co-conspirators. Uh, and I would say certainly there are individuals who we categorize and track under the racially motivated violent extremism part of our program management uh, who are African Americans targeting others. So for example, mm -hmm. for example, you probably saw some of the reporting uh, about the killing of the individuals in Jersey City, including the killing of the people in the kosher supermarket. I did. Uh, those individuals were associated themselves with something called the black Hebrew Israelite, themselves with something called the black Hebrew Israelite. Oh, I'm movement. very familiar with them. Um, so so, so let, we are, let's use that, that would be in that category. So, so let's use that as an example, because I'm, I'm very familiar with, with that group, that group. Use that as an example, because I'm, I'm very familiar with, with that group. That group is um, in several, what would you say? Yeah, well, excuse me, but I'm taking the prerogative of the chair. Um, <laughs> uh, using that group as an example, is that a group, because they are open, you know, I mean, you see them on street corners in different groups, they're not a secret group at all. Open, you know, I mean, you see them on street corners in different groups, they're not a secret group at all. Is that group part of the racially motivated um, extremism? The group, I understand the act that took place, I understand the individuals and it's not clear their level of association. And it's not clear their level of association. And it's not clear their level of association. I, I, what I would say to you on that is that we have some investigations into individuals mm -hmm. who associate themselves with that movement. Beyond those two people? Yes. Okay. And